Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, uh, it's going to be the start of our journey on our cleaning and pressing and grading of our Silver Surfer number one. I would put this guy right now at about a 3.5. Uh, so it's a little over $500 fair market value. You can see a lot of dimples there. The pages are pretty um, crisp colors are there there are a, a number of creases but the big problem is on the front cover is that tear right there so I got to be super careful uh, when I um, clean and press this that I don't make that worse but it presents pretty well the back is not bad it's pretty clean some tanning but the big problem is are these two pieces tears right there and I gotta be really careful that I don't make them come off if it comes off that should really affect the grade but um, hopefully we can get a 3.5 maybe a 4.0 so let's get to it so this is how I prep the book so what I'm going to do is try to find the center it's really hard to find the center on these 25 centers so I'm gonna put a piece of printer paper in there and I'm using inkjet paper and put one under the cover and also under the back cover and I do this to um, support the the pages but also so I can um, it gives uh, me and a guide and added support especially when I do the wet cleaning so Right now, I'm taking a makeup pad and I'm lightly dusting the surface. This is dry right now. Take out any surface dust. And I'm going to wet one of them. And that is, all it is, is uh, distilled water. No chemicals. But before I do it, I'm going to prep the surface by warming the book up and introducing some steam on it so that makes the pages uh, a little bit more supple and then I'm gonna gently push to the edge of the book light touch and right there I'm dabbing the um, the tears because I don't want to pull those off and just go all the way down to the bottom you can see how much dirt it took off there and now I'm going to dry it and when I get to the tear I'm just going to pat it and keep going and the f uh, the paper uh, gives it added support so I can push right to the edge so I can get the edge nice and clean I'm going to do it one more time again just dabbing the tear I don't want to pull that off and work my way down and you can see that um, it's still a, a lot of dirt came off this process is I'm gonna to have to do uh, multiple times um, so this is all um, pre to the first press this is probably gonna be pressed at least twice and I'm gonna go through this cleaning process at least twice so I'm going to turn it to the front and repeat the process. Again, um, be sure you have a border with that um, inkjet paper so it's not right on the edge. And I'm going to apply a nice steam bath. And how I know when it's ready is the cover kind of flattens out against the inkjet paper. So I'm going to get a new pad here and repeat the process again pushing to the edge of the paper taking care on that tear right there and it's a really light touch you don't want to be pressing down too hard and when you get to the edge run it off onto the um, inkjet paper you can see how dirty that one was and I'm going to dry it
and repeat this process one more time. So since you saw it a couple times on the back, um, we're just going to go through it really quick here. One pass through. Light touch, barely touching the paper. And run the edge. Not as much dirt came off that time, which is a good sign. And dry it right off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on these uh, divots that you can see right there. I don't know what made those or how that happened, but there are a lot of little indentations. And you can see a lot of wear on the spine right there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a backer board in there and the edge is chamfered to support the page. And I'm going to use my steamer to warm up and moisten that area. This is an important part of the process because we want to have the paper nice and warm and damp. And what I'm um, going to do after that is use the tacking iron to try to flatten out all those dimples. So you can see I'm working the area there and we're going to have to do this kind of over and over until it, it goes away. But going to use really light pressure to start and that's our little silicon sheet. And I'm going back and forth on the on that area that I'm with the dimples and slowly work it out. Be patient. Don't try to get it all in one pass. Um, unless it's a you know a minor spine tick, you're not going to be able to do it. And these are pretty deep. So we're going to do this a number of times until we get it pretty smooth. So I'm pretty much done with this. Um, again, this is prior to my first press. So I'm not trying to get it totally flat. I want to see how the book looks after um, an indiv a single press. And then I'll go back to working on it. But you can see there, um, they're pretty much all gone. So I'm really, really happy with how, how that's coming out. It's looking good. Now I'm going to use my white eraser and make sure it's nice and clean to do my dry cleaning. And a lot of people, they do the dry cleaning first. The reason why I do the wet cleaning first, and especially for um, the older books, like some of my older books, The Silver Age, is because uh, they've been in storage for you know decades. So the paper is kind of dry and brittle. So uh, that's why I add moisture to it with the steam. And you can see that there's some dirt there. So I have another sheet of paper that I put on the board that where I used to clean the eraser. So adding the steam and doing the, uh, the wet cleaning first gets off a bulk of the dirt because I don't want to put a lot of stress on, on this paper. And so getting it kind of uh, moist, uh, you know, it, it keeps me from tearing it. Now I want to be sure that the, I don't, the paper is not wet and so at sometimes um, you have to you know let it dry out a little bit in between the, the wet cleaning and the dry cleaning now the pressure I'm using on the eraser is I'm barely touching the paper really light strokes light touches pulling um, away from the supported side to the unsupported side and I'm going to do this over the entire back and the front and then it should be ready for pressing well, it's out of the press. This is a press one out of two or three that I'm probably going to do. I haven't decided yet, but it came out pretty good. Uh, the dimples on the left are pretty much gone. You can see little faint marks there, but the really deep indentations are gone. Maybe I'll work on that a little bit. There is another dent by the staple. I'll work on that. Uh, not much else can do here. Uh, the back is looking pretty good. Uh, the piece is still holding together. I think I'm going to put this in the light box and see how that goes. Uh, the big problem is going to be the stain at uh, the stains at the bottom. I'm going to try to see if I can get them out, but I don't know if I can. Uh, that's part one of this cleaning. Thanks for watching and aloha.